Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. I wanted to answer a question that uh, people have been asking for a while now, and that's how to duplicate your photos on your mobile version of Lightroom. Unfortunately, when you click on something and you go to your, set, uh, your uh, options here, there isn't a duplicate photo anywhere. So, uh, this is a little workaround that I discovered, which works very, very well. These are all raw files. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the right hand corner here and we're going to click on share. We're going to go to export as. We're going to export as a DNG. If you click on this arrow right here, you'll see uh, several options. If you click on original, it's just going to save it as your original raw file but you will not be able to import it because of the feature that Lightroom has to not import duplicates. So all we're doing is rewrapping the raw file into a DNG file. So once we do that, we don't need to do any of the other options unless you would like to change the name, but I'm keeping the original name. And then we'll click uh, Engage. Now it exports it. Now you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and you're going to add that same photo you just in, uh, exported from the device. It says here raw. You add that. And there's your photo. You can also do this to multiple photos. We're going to select multiple photos. So these last five photos here, you're going to go to the upper right hand corner, click to share, click to export do DNG. It's going to take a little longer, of course, because you're doing multiple photos. So just remember that that might take a little while, depending on the size of your photo and how many photos you're downloading. Once it's exported, we're going to say OK. We're going to go to add photos from device. And here's the last five photos. We're going to say add. And just like that, we have our photos imported. What's beautiful about this is when you click on the uh, imported photo and then you click on information at the bottom right hand corner here, you'll see that it says DNG. But when we go to the next photo, we still have our raw photo. Nothing has changed. The uh, pixel is the same. You'll see a little one because I've already done this before, but uh, you'll have the same exact file name in your case. Um, all the metadata stays the same. The only thing you're changing is you're wrapping your raw file in a DNG file. So you can edit it exactly the same way. Even when I go to, for instance, uh, the light, it's exposures and not, you know, how when you do a uh, regular JPEG, the exposure is not as, you know, it doesn't look like this. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. Have a wonderful day.